One thing we've had to get used to as Trekkies is all the new actors playing well-established characters. Sometimes it's gone really well from the start. And sometimes it goes well, but takes time to get used to. And other times, not well. I've done my best to be polite about it and give it some time, but I just don't see it. I can't wrap my mind around Paul Wesley as Kirk. Admittedly, I do like Paul as an actor, and I'm seriously biased as I watched each and every episode of The Vampire Diaries. Binged it, and yes, it is part of my collection. So I don't really think it's Paul himself, or at least not his acting. But I just don't see James Tiberius Kirk when I see him, even in the gold shirt. And here are the reasons why I'm having serious issues with this casting. Number one, I know it's tough for actors to get out of a rut when they've played the same character for eight years, but going from vampire to Starfleet officer was a bit of a leap. And again, I admit this reason is more of a me thing, but I can't be the only one who's watched both shows and just have trouble seeing past the Stefan of it all. Number two, is it just me or are his features just wrong for Kirk. Shatner had a certain look and oddly I easily see Kirk and Chris Pine whenever he plays the role but Paul's features are somehow sharper. I don't know it it's something. Number three those pauses and tone. Paul is missing something of the way Kirk communicated and honestly it's an issue I also have with Spock often. But the creators have given us a reason for that as he is still struggling with interacting with humans. Haven't had that explanation with Kirk and it's aggravating, but might be in the character's development. Number four, I'm not here to body shame, but another bit that makes it more difficult to see the Kirk in Wesley is his build. He seems to have a little less weight to him than either Shatner or Pine. Again, not body shaming, everyone has their own healthy weight, but it's not Kirk. Number five, the attitude, which I suppose could go with the tone on number three, but it's like he's trying to play captain when he's not there yet or have the authoritative glare and resonance of a captain. But I swear he just seemed either upset or snotty, not sure which. Admittedly, this is just my opinion and I'll be looking for improvements next season while attempting to keep an open mind and not see previous roles. I really want to like him in this role, and honestly, it took me a bit to accept some of the other actors as popular characters, and really only having one episode to prove oneself might not be a fair performance from which to measure, but after being very excited to see a familiar face from one show I like headed to a franchise I love, I'm going to maintain an open mind but be hesitant in my hopes. And that's my quick take on Paul Wesley as Kirk. If you like this video and want more, you know what to do by now. If not, well, you know what to do for that too. For more videos and updates on Trek to come, days gone by and other things Trek might have not gotten strictly correct in my humble opinion, check out more videos here and I'll see you there.